All right, today we're going to uh, make a simple little part that's going to represent the plank on a uh, boat hull. So this is a contrived, really simple, these would be stations uh, of each or bulkheads. I've only drawn one half um, of the boat hull. We're going to create in place, which creates part on the fly. Let's use our material and give it a name. Obviously, I've run through this a couple times. Plank three. And I'm gonna do this in ordered. I feel like uh, I'm gonna do a little surface modeling and that's kind of more the domain uh, of ordered modeling. Control Q on the keyboard. As hide previous level, that toggles the view of the surrounding parts. Um, typically, what people will do when they want to reference other geometries, uh, sometimes you can you can use a, a an alternate key to gain access to these. But uh, it's pretty easy to do an inter-part copy. So that's from part to part. This is available only when you're in the you know the context of designing in an assembly. And we're really just copying these parts and then grabbing a face. And this is nice because it gives you the ability to, in the future, change the shape of those faces. And this part will adapt. Control Q again hides the components. I don't need to see those. So the surfacing bar has a variety of tools. The one that I think would work here is key point curve. This will create a nice affair um, curve. Uh, between these two. You can add more points if you want. They can be user-defined or you could just simply add more stations. Um, and we'll just do the other side of the plank. And right-click to accept. Uh, and finish. And then we need to create a surface out of this. We can't go directly to solid. Um, you could use blue surf or you could use other, I think bounded might be interesting to try here. If you have a boundary, you can just click all the edges that make up the boundary. <clears throat> and we'll accept that. And now we're just gonna give that some thickness. And there's a great command Thicken. Wish I had thicken when I was a machinist. Machine a little too much metal off and changes your whole day. Um, so we'll let's see. An inch thickness is pretty good. All right. So now to make this flat. Uh, notice we are still just in a regular part file. There is um, so because this is not a straight break type uh, of of bend. So flatten and blank body should do a great job here. You can increase the quality uh, if you want perfection. Um, it depends on what you're trying to achieve. Um, why don't I go up go up to a fine? just so you can see the time uh, that it takes. Um, and the triad kind of allows you to specify um, kind of where the, where the zero point is. If you want to move that, you can preview and see that was pretty quick. So it generated that and then when you hit finish, you'll see I'll hide the surface geometry so that you can better see this. So there's our there's our plank. It gives you the overall size. If this um, weren't within a standard material you, or you could change it of course and then continue and build more. You probably only need to build half of the of the hull and then in your cam system, uh, in this case we use uh, SolidEdge Cam Pro. Um, 
I chose to save that out as a parasolid because you know maybe your cam you don't have cam pro so I'm going to do um, uh, import parasolid as my plank Create a tool. Define my part. Love NX Cam Solid Sol or Solid Edge Cam Pro. And then the blank. We'll use um, bounding block. Create an operation. I think uh, finished walls probably would work. I'll make sure I pick my tool, use my workpiece, and the method of cutting is finish. And then we just simply select the face. Uh, tool side is on the outside, and I want the floor to be a little bit below. So I'll pick the bottom, I'll just drag that down, I don't know, an inch, whatever you want. And then generate. And if we do a verify on it, there's our material. So Solid Edge Cam Pro is a really cool, um, you might be wondering, well, how much toolpath is this going to create? Can my CNC router handle all these moves? You made that from a facet body. Uh, could it produce a large amount of G-code? Yes, it probably could. Um, NX, um, you turn on these endpoints, there's a couple of things that come into play. So here we're, we're seeing the segments um, that the CAM system has generated. Now, if you go into, um, so if we post this, that's a fair amount of G-code. Uh, it's not too bad. Most most routers can handle that. Um, looks like it's a GO3, so a lot of arc moves. That's great. And you can experiment with the um, the intall outall. They call that. Um, so. It's kind of like an arc fitting if we go into cutting parameters and stock. And if we change this to maybe 10 thou and regenerate. <clears throat> and then we should see a little difference when we post. Maybe a minor difference. If you cut that back to 30 thou, you'd see even uh, even fewer lines. So you have great control there in NX Cam. So that's an example of making a uh, maybe a a boat hull plank uh, with Solid Edge and Solid Edge Cam Pro.